Hello, today we're going to talk about protists. We're going to be discussing the material in Chapter 6 of your Biology 1 textbook. And we're going to look at what are protists, try to get a handle on where these little critters fit in the classification scheme. Take a little side jaunt into the microscope because that was pretty important in seeing protists in the first place. And then we're going to talk about the movement of protists. How do they get around? Well, what are protists? They're one of the five kingdoms, the kingdom Protista. They're mainly single-celled little creatures, but some of them are multicellular. So we start to get a little bit of a problem in classification. Can't see them, at least not with the naked eye. Um, so as a result, the early classification schemes just dealt with plants and animals and birds and fish and that sort of thing. Uh, we couldn't classify Protista before about the middle of the 17th century because we could not see them had to have the microscope to be invented before we could see these things. Now here's a picture of a microscope. The left picture is the picture in your textbook on page 41. It <coughs> illustrates the different parts of the microscope. The right picture is a modern binocular microscope. You notice it has two eyepieces, one for each eye. It has a number of uh, lenses to focus on, and it has a more sophisticated adjusting situation and, and light source. But the microscope that you have basically works the same way in terms of magnifying things that you can't see. Well, what kind of protists do we have? Some swim, some crawl. Protists can divide in half to make new protists. They can split their cells and come up with, with new creatures. Some of them hunt for food. Now here we start to get into classification problems. Some of them make food with photosynthesis. So the hunting for food would be more of an animal type of behavior. Photosynthesis is more of a plant behavior. And then there are those protists that do both, which confuses the issue totally. So how do you classify them? Do you classify them as animals? Do you classify them as plants? Or what do you do? <clears throat> so you put a new classification, protista. Now we have different types of protists. Here is a euglena. A euglena uh, has a flagellum, which moves it around. It has chloroplast in it, and you can see the, the green euglena on the left, a uh, number of chloroplasts. And it has a little structure called a stigma. And the stigma is the light-sensitive part of the euglena, and that allows it to orient towards food. And we'll be talking about that in a later chapter. Paramecium, another small creature. Paramecium functions very differently. Paramecium can take in food, has food vacuoles, and it has little cilia all around the outside. And then there's the amoeba. Amoeba are another type of protist. Uh, they take in food differently. Uh, and they have pseudopods. You can see a lot of the pseudopods sticking out. Now, <coughs> paramecium have cil cilia. Uh, note the Latin paramecium, singular paramecia, plural. Um, the cilia, ciliates, this paramecia is a ciliate, and you can see the little uh, threads sticking out the, around the outer wall of the paramecium. Those are the cilia. And the cilia move. The cilia kind of move back and forth, and there are special proteins in the cilia that flex and cause the cilia to move. They use ATP for energy, so they need a lot of ATP to, to make the cilia go back and forth. Paramecium swim in water, and they move in fairly straight lines. They'll turn around if they bump into something. If they're swimming along and they come up to the edge of a container, they'll bump into it, and they'll realize, oh, I can't go any further. And so they'll turn around. They can swim backwards as well as forwards. That makes sense. The cilia can go in another direction and pull them backwards. 
And the cilia are also helpful, and we'll talk about this next chapter, to sweep food into the cell mouth. Now, flagellates are a different type of uh, the protista. <clears throat> Flagellum, singular, flagella, plural. And the flagellates have this little tail on the end, and this is the euglena. You can see again the green chloroplast, and this little tail on the end. The flagella move differently than the cilia. The cilia wave back and forth to move the paramecium. Flagella, on the other hand, rotate like a propeller. You can kind of picture that. There's one thread, and it goes round and round, sort of like a propeller. So it drives the euglena like a boat. Just picture a, a boat out on the lake with an outboard motor, and propellers going around pushing the boat forward, and that's how a euglena moves. Now the amoeba have a different structure. They have the pseudopods, as you see in your diagram. <clears throat> amoeba crawl. They don't move very much. They just kind of crawl along surfaces, <clears throat> and they don't move very fast. They're never going to win any races. Uh, they move a few inches a day, so they don't get around a whole lot. They move in response to a lot of things. If the temperature changes, that may make them move. If there's food around, that may make them move. If there's no food around, that may make them move. Uh, they will move in response to changes in condition around the amoeba. The pseudopods help them move. You can kind of see them st st sticking out there and um, pulling the amoeba along. And the pseudopods also bring in food, and we'll talk about that later. Amoeba often collect in groups. The um, Paramecia and the Euglena all hang out by themselves. But amoeba, amoeba will clump up in groups and move as a group. Okay, what have we talked about? We've talked about protists classified on the basis of movement, the cilia, the uh, flagella, and the little pseudopods that kind of pull the amoeba along a little bit. We've talked about how cilia move. They sort of wave back and forth, and they can move the uh, organism forward and backwards. Flagellate movement, on the other hand, is like a propeller, and so they drive the organism forward. The amoeba just kind of slide along a little bit and really don't move much at all. A little slogan, I heart biology. And thank you for being here, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.